I actually rocked with Gregory Hines, you know, a few times before he passed away. So, and that was just like impromptu type of thing too. It was like, he had a class that I drove up from North Carolina for. It was like a hundred kids in it. I was in the back, you know, I was feeling myself. I was yeah, like, yeah. he's like, I don't need to be in the front. You know what I mean? I know how to do this, this tap dance yeah. thing. Um, and he picked me out of a sea of people and had me come up on stage and do the combo that he just taught. I went at it, you know what I mean? I was like, I want to be humble, but I want him to know yeah. that I do this. Yeah. <laughs> and um, then he ended up kind of doing it with me as a duet. And like, everybody was like, ah. And I was like, man, I can't believe I just, wow. I just performed with Gregory Hines. And that was the first time I met him too. Never saw him before in my entire life. And then another opportunity was, um, was a showcase. I was performing, my eyes were closed, I was in the zone. And I hear these, you know, these these taps, you know, behind me. So I think it's one of the homies that's just like kind of co-signing, you know, you know, this melody that I'm kind of rocking in the moment. And I look up and it's it's him. He had come out the crowd, put his tap shoes on. He remembered me from that class. Get out of here. And he just started kind of impromptu. Where was security? Me. Oh my! How did he get past security? Gosh, I was like, what's going on? And we just like we had a great performance that nobody had prepared. So for. So he was there so. just watching. Yeah, I had no idea he was there. Had he no just happened to have his tap shoes with him? Man, he did. He was on the way to another performance or something like that, too. So. You're listening to the Broadway Podcast Network. 